Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pork and cabbage saute. Okay, I'm starting out. I have six boneless pork chops that I salt and peppered on each side and I haven't set aside for now. Now in my large cast iron Dutch oven, I've heated my induction burner. And if you don't have an induction burner, don't worry about it. The only reason I'm using this is to save electricity because it's a one-pot meal. It's a lot cheaper than using a stove. I have set on a sear feature, which is high. And I have a half a pound of bacon here. I thawed in the microwave because it was froze. I'm going to get it in here and brown it up, get it nice and crispy. Okay, now that my bacon's all crispy and brown, I pulled it out and set it aside for now to drain it some paper towel. I'm going to fry my pork chops up about eight minutes on each side till they're golden brown and nearly cooked through in this bacon grease. And I'm going to do these three at a time because they're nice sized pork chops. Okay, my pork chops are all browned up and I pulled them out. Now I said I was going to do them for eight minutes per side, but they only took about five minutes per side. Now I drained about half of that bacon grease off of there and I turned my induction burner down to medium. And like I said, if you don't have an induction burner, don't panic. You can do this on a stove top, just turn it down to medium. I have one large onion here that I finally diced. I'm going to get it in here and saute it in this bacon fat or grease for about five minutes till the onions start to get translucent and golden brown. I'm just going to stir them around and give them a good coating in that bacon grease. And I'm going to cover these while I do this. Alright, my five minutes are up and as you can see the onions are nice and translucent and they're brown. That's from the bits on the bottom of the pot. I was scraping it every now and then give it a stir. Now I have a one pound bag of coleslaw mix. I'm going to slowly add this in. And if you're not familiar with coleslaw mixes, it's cabbage, carrots, and uh, red cabbage. Is it? Purple cabbage, red cabbage. So I'm going to slowly stir this in. Enough of that. I'm going to put my lid back on here and let this cook for about five minutes so this cabbage coleslaw mix welts down. And uh, I'll go in occasionally and give it a stir. Okay, my five minutes is up and my coleslaw mix is nice and welded down. Now, what I'm going to add to this is I have two golden delicious apples that I poured and sliced. They're going to go in there. I have three nice sized red skin potatoes that I diced up. They're going in. I have three quarters of a cup of apple cider. Not apple cider vinegar, but apple cider. I'm going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of dry thyme. I'm just eyeballing that. It's all shield up. A little bit of pepper and salt. I'm going to give this a stir. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to a boil and I'm going to cover it and simmer it for about 15 or 20 minutes till the potatoes are tender. Okay, my 20 minutes are up. My potatoes are tender. Now I'm going to add in a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Give this a stir. And I'm scraping the bottom of the pot to get that goodness up while I'm stirring this around. I'm going to add my chops back in here. And I'm going to warm these through because I had them tender with foil, but they cooled down a little bit. So I'm going to get them in here. And this juice on the plate that the chops gave off, I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to dump that right in there because that's extra flavor. Cover this up with some of this uh, cabbage and potato goodness, help warm it through quicker. Okay, and I'm going to let them sit in there for about five minutes. I turn my heat down to low, and I'm going to cover that. Okay, I'll let this go for a few minutes. My pork chops are warmed through. Now that bacon that I fried up in the beginning of the video, I went ahead and crumbled that up. We're going to sprinkle that in there. And this is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. All right, there you have it, pork and cabbage saute. Give this a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.